Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve a numerical which is based on calculation of thickness of boundary layer on a flat plate. So let's move on to video. Let's see the numerical. A smooth flat plate 2 meter wide and 2.5 meter length is stored in oil. So now in this case a plate is kept in oil and it is stored. Oil is having specific gravity as 0 0.8. It means that if I know specific gravity, then I can calculate the density. For mass density calculations, we will just multiply this specific gravity with the density of water. Then in that, in that case, we will have the value of mass density of liquid. Velocity of flow is given to us. U is given to us as 1.5 meter per second. Find the thickness of boundary layer and shear stress at First case is the midpoint. This problem is based on calculation of shear stresses and thickness of boundary layer. First location is at midpoint. Second location is at trailing edge of the plate. Also find the power required to towing the plate. Kinematic viscosity is given to us as 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per second. So first stage is to note down data, given data. Given data is width is given to us as 2 meter, length is given to us as 2.5 meter, specific gravity is 0.8, so density can be 0 0.8 into 1000 that is 800 kg per meter cube. Velocity of flow as 1.5 meter per second nu is given to us as 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per second if nu is given to us it is not required in any formula we will require value of mu that is dynamic viscosity and for that purpose we have to calculate it by multiplying mu is nothing but the nu into rho that is density density we have already obtained as 800 into 10 raised to minus 4 it becomes 0 0.08 unit will be obviously newton second per meter square so we will consider first case case 1 in which midpoint of plate means length is now 2.5 upon 2 that is equal to 1.25 meter First of all, at this length, we will calculate the value of Reynolds number because we want to know the nature of flow, whether it is laminar or turbulent one. If it is less than 5 into 10 raised to 5 value, then it will be laminar, otherwise it will be turbulent one. So, Reynolds number can be calculated as u into x upon nu. So, 1.5 into 1.25 upon nu is given to us as 10 raised to minus 4 that is equal to 1.875 into 10 raised to 4 which is less than 5 into 10 raised to 5. So we can conclude that boundary layer is laminar. So we will use the Blass's assumptions, Blass's results which are readily given to us. So according to Blasius solution, we will have boundary layer thickness value as 5 into x upon under root Re. So 5 into value of x is 1.25 upon under root of Re calculated will be 1.875 1.875 into 10 raised to power 4 will give me value as 0 0.0456 meter that is equal to 45.64 mm shear stresses shear stresses can be calculated as tau naught is equal to 0 0.332 mu into u upon l into under root of re these are also ready results by blasius solution so 
it will include all the values 0 0.332 into 0 0.08 into 1.5 u is 1.5 into under root of re is 1.875 into 10 raised to power 4 this whole divided by length is nothing but the 1.25 so value of tau will be 4.364 newton per meter square now we will consider case 2 in which we are going to calculate at railing gauge that is we have to consider length of plate as 2.5 meter this is the end point of the flow in which we will have point of separation so we are going to check characteristic at point of separation so Reynolds number is u l upon nu so 1.5 into 2.5 upon 10 raised to minus 4 that is equal to 3.75 to 10 raised to 4 this says that even though flow around the whole length is considered the nature of boundary layer will be laminar it will never get changed because the length of plate is less than the actual length required for the turbulent one so we will have value of reynolds number less than pi into 10 raised to 5 hence laminar boundary layer is formed so accordingly we will have value of thickness of boundary layer del that is equal to phi u x upon under root of re so phi into 2.5 upon under root of 3.75 into 10 raised to power 4 we have obtained it 3.75 into 10 raised to 4 so we will have value of del as 0 0.06455 meter that is 64.55 millimeter so thickness of boundary layer will be more that is 64.55 this much thickness occurs only when the velocity of flow is very less as velocity of flow is very less obviously the nature of boundary layer will be laminar so this is the reason why boundary layer is not converted into turbulent one calculation of shear stress tau include 0 0.332 into mu into u upon l into under root of re that is 0 0.332 into 0 0.08 into 1.5 upon 2.5 into Reynolds number is 3.75 into 10 raised to power 4 so value will be 3.086 newton per meter square and now last point that we have to calculate is nothing but the drag force which is acting on the plate so for that purpose we have formula drag force on both sides so we will multiply it by 2 so 2 into cd into 1 half into rho into a into velocity is u square so 2 into cd we have not calculated but we know the formula to calculate cd that is 1.328 upon under root re Reynolds number into one half into rho is nothing but the 800 area is nothing but the plate area that is 2 by 5 into 1.5 square Calculation of all these things, putting value of Reynolds number, Reynolds number obtained us to us 3.75 into 10 to 4. So 123.44 Newton. If drag force is get calculated, we can calculate the power required to drag it. So power required 
is nothing but the drag force into velocity u so it will give us value as 123.44 into velocity is 1.5 that is 185.16 watt that's all thank you